Friday. It's Lisa, 30A Yoga, take two. Got a little better connection this time. So hello everybody, live from Oyster Lake. We're gonna do a little Suryi Namaskar. That means sun salutations. It's a, just a beautiful way to start your morning. It's a good way to get it all up. We're gonna do three sets of them. The first one, we're gonna take it really slow to warm up. Um, lots of different variations in this. You know, this is harder than it looks, I just want to say. I found out a couple things about myself by watching myself. When I get nervous, I touch my face and I scratch my nose. And I say, um, a whole lot more than I thought I would. So, sorry about that. Thanks for joining me. Um, this is my opportunity to share with you my practice. And I hope you all are watching. This is a beautiful morning. Got a little light construction noise. Hopefully that'll hold up. Hopefully the nature sounds will overwhelm the other noises and I hope you join me with a few breaths here so we're standing I'm doing a little different with my mat here too trying to find the right angle any any um, comments you might want to make I would certainly appreciate it something you'd like to do in class again I'm trying to keep it around 15 20 minutes just so um, just so it wakes you up and inspires you to maybe do a little bit more on your home but as we stand in Sadasana let's just ground ourselves we talked about the hand mudras the root mudra and I looked over my old videos and I told you the wrong finger it's actually the ring finger so you take your thumb on the middle bone the inside middle bone of the ring finger it's just a connecting opportunity of your hands if you'd like to hold your hands in root mudra again it makes cool little peace fingers just stand firmly grounded listen to your breath that full expansion of your lungs. Take a deep breath in and lift. Exhale, come down. Breath in, lift. Exhale, come down. Let's uh, build on what we learned. We're gonna set our shoulders here. So the push, pinch, and pull, if you push, or protract your shoulders, what that has the effect of lifting your shoulder blades off your back. Then you're going to pinch your shoulder blades together down the middle of your spine as if you're squeezing a peanut and then pull your shoulder blades into your pants pockets. If you're always wondering how to pose for a picture, that's a really good way to do it. So you push, pinch, and pull. That sets your shoulders for Tadasana, setting your lower body, you're grounding your feet, lifting your toes and breathe. Inhale, lift. Exhale, chest lift, back bend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Just do a nice swan dive. Send your shoulders forward. Drop your head all the way. Take a breath in and half lift. Nice flat back. Stretch that distance between your hips and your head. Exhale and fold. Go ahead and grab our arms here and just let everything stretch. Maybe take a little wider stance of your feet. And inhale, rise. Go ahead and lift up on the balls of your feet. Exhale, rock to your heels, lift your toes. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale. One more breath in, lift. And we're gonna swan dive it forward. Hands to your shins. One more half lift. We're gonna take our hands to our mat. Step your right foot back. Just gonna warm up with our first sun salutation. Drop your right knee. We'll go ahead and send that left leg long, that left hip back, stretching that left leg. Breath in, send your right hip forward. We do this in class all the time, warming up your hips. And breath in. Let's rise to Anjaneyasana, biceps back, triceps Ooh. forward. Inhale, lift. Let's take our fingertips to our mastoid bone as we spread our wings, our elbows nice and wide, opening up your collarbone. Go ahead and open up your arms and your thumbs back. Both arms up. Keep that left arm up nice and extended. Right arm comes back. Breathe. Let's go ahead and bring our hands to heart center. We're going to try to come up to a full crescent. So take your hands to the mat. Go ahead and lift your right knee off the mat if it's accessible for you. Find strength in your left leg to ground you. And we'll rise. 
exhale sink and rise and sink and rise hands to the mat we're going to find our first down face dog walk your dog press your hands into the mat protracting your shoulders you know what to do here walk your dog take a deep breath in send your hips high exhale chest toward the thighs we're gonna come into plank. Let's hold that plank for just a couple breaths. Breathe, keep your shoulders in, your elbows in, the back of your neck nice and long. Exhale, chaturanga. We were doing our shoulder class the other day. I left out a really important shoulder and that's your up face dog. So on your breath in, take a big breath in. There you are, just about halfway. Now let's round those shoulders. Alternate one shoulder forward, one shoulder back. Inhale, lift. Curl your toes under, down face dog. That right leg rises. Go ahead and bend your right knee. Let's warm that hip up. Deck your right hip over your left. Breath in, right leg long, and bring it forward. We're gonna bring our left foot forward and stand. Halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. That was a modified sun salutation on the left side, let's, or right side. Let's do it on the left. Breath in and lift. Exhale, chest lift back then. Inhale and lift. Exhale and fold. Hands to the mat. We're going to send our left foot back this time. Let's drop that left knee. Get a little hip warm up. There's a beautiful egret just flying by. Left hip comes forward. Right hip comes back. And in and out. Got a couple people joining. I can't see. But hello. Just warming up that hip there. Last time here, stretch that right leg nice and long. And then we're going to rise up to Anjaneyasana. Go ahead and breath in. Biceps back, triceps forward. Lift. We're going to send our hands to our mastoid bone, spreading those elbows nice and wide. Lift your heart, spread your collarbone. Open up your hands, palms up, and send your thumbs behind you. Getting that nice stretch of your pecs. Let's take our hands to the mat. We're going to rise up to the full crescent. So lift, breath in. And rock it down, rock it up, rock it down, lift, and we'll take our hands to the mat, down face dog. This time that left leg's going to get a little hip action, so left leg lifts. Left hip stacks over the right, open up that left side. Left hip goes long, left foot comes forward. Right foot joins that left foot, you're in a forward fold. Take a half lift and fold it all the way in. Breath in to rise. That was one. We're going to speed it up a little bit on two and three. Take a breath in and lift. Exhale, fold. Hands to the mat. Can you join me in a crescent? Really plant that left foot. Really rise. Hands to the mat. Down face dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Mm. Exhale, down face dog. Right leg lift. Right foot plants. And left foot plants. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, chest lift back bend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Left foot steps back this time. Find our core, find our balance, find our strength in that right foot, find your balance. Really spread that left leg back, breath in, lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, down face down. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up tiger cobra. Exhale, down face down. Left foot rises. Left foot comes forward. Right foot comes forward. Hands to the shins, half lift. Exhale and fold. Breath in to rise. Let's do one more. Inhale and lift. 
exhale, chest lift, back bend, inhale, exhale, right foot steps back, Anjadeyasana, hands to the mat, Chaturanga, up dog, down, right leg dog flip, right foot comes forward, left foot comes forward, hands to the shins, half lift, exhale, fold, breath in to rise. Come on down to the left side. Breath in, lift. Exhale, swan dive. Hands to the mat. Left foot steps back. Rise. Down face dog. Chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale. Left foot lift. Left foot comes forward. Right foot comes forward. Hands to the shins. Exhale, fold. Let's go ahead and bend our knees. We'll rise up into chair. We're going to really stretch those middle fingers up. You feel that whole stretch from the inside, your psoas. Drop your tailbone down just a little bit. Take your hands to heart center. Let's go keep that left foot planted on the ground. Step back with your right. Come forward, left, forward. Try to keep your upper body nice and still. Just moving that lower body. Alternating. One more on each side. We're back in chair. Rise. Our hands to heart center and twist. Left elbow, right knee. Breathe. Breath in to rise. Inhale. Right elbow, left knee. Breath in to rise all the way up. Let's fold forward. Hands to the shins, half lift. Exhale and fold. Breath in to rise. One more chair. Hands to heart center. See if we can shift our weight to our left foot. Just rise up into that right. Can you lift it up? Keep lifting, keep lifting, keep lifting. And let's send it back to Tula Dandasana. And come up, just stand into Dandasana. And fold. Breath in. Exhale the chair. Hands to heart center. Can we go ahead and shift our weight to the right side this time? Bring that left leg forward. Shift it to Tula Dandasana. And rise to Tadasana. One more breath in, lift. Exhale, chest lift, back bend. Inhale to lift. Let's come into goddess arms. Spread those collarbones one more time. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Breath in, open up. Exhale, just bring our elbows and palms together as we bow our head. Inhale and lift. Exhale, hands and heart center. That should about do it. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you Monday. Namaste.